where you can see here, you can head to, you can climb. We've opened up a lot of movement as well. You can jump now uh, to go over, you know, obstacles to kind of make your way up and down. You hills. can jump now. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I know. I know. Revolution. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I'm surprised by that. <laughs> but, yeah. but no, I mean, we haven't done that before. And, and you know, when we said, you know, we want to have areas that are more vertical, areas that you can interact with. Um, right now, we're looking at a cool kind of uh, mechanic that has you kind of hunting around the area, looking for lost artifacts. That so is that what a shard is? Is that yeah, a shard yeah, spotted? Yeah. All right, in cool. fact, bad guys have kind of been here ahead of us and started setting these up in these like clandestine locations. Ah. So you're taking advantage almost of the bad guy tech, though I don't think we're going to talk too much about oh, the bad guys. Yeah. Yeah. So what's my incentive to go and explore like, you know, on these hills? Like, well, wh why am I going, like, why should I deviate off the path on my, like, my quest to go where I'm going next? So the thing we want to make sure is that when you're out in the, in the world, uh, that it's all purposeful. So um, ultimately, everything you're doing is either designed to strengthen you and your party, so you're getting crafting materials to build uh, better weapons, better armor, or you're doing things that actually strengthen the Inquisition. You're doing things like closing fade rifts, which increases the renown and the reach of the Inquisition. Uh, you're helping citizens or freeing people that can actually come and, and reinforce your Inquisition. Uh, that's really one of the core tenets of Dragon Age Inquisition is that you're at the leader of an organization. You can. This allows you to do things you couldn't do as an individual. Right. So, what are the benefits to me for like making my Inquisition like more influential, stronger? Like, what, what, like, what impact does that have on the game? There's a few really, really key benefits. Um, the first one is that uh, it's really the mechanic by which you decide where the story goes next. Right. Uh, rather than uh, like, oh, the story will go here, then here, then here. Like, you know, it's kind of like our older games. Uh, the story rewarded you with more story. Right. Right. <laughs> we wanted to break that up and say, look. Um, it, we're setting a goal for you. You want to take lay siege to this fortress, or you want to, you know, get your way into this fancy or legion ball. Well, you need to be influential enough to kind of maneuver the uh. politics or to build up your siege weapon, that kind of stuff. And so, adventuring now um, kind of earns you a currency of power that you can then choose how you spend and what objective you want to pursue next. That's great. It's not battle power; it's politics also, and yeah. you yeah. influential there. That's Absolutely. amazing. So, um, yeah, this mount, this horse. I mean. Uh, are our horses the only thing you can ride? Are there any other mounts? So we're, we definitely have a, a multitude of different mounts, not just uh, horses. Um, things like like lizardy creatures oh. and uh, th uh, that sort of thing. You collect them uh, in the world, and uh, yeah, they'll give you different uh, different uh, perks as you're riding around the space. Yeah, and th and really the the horse is there to get you through spaces you've been through before. Um, one of the things we aren't doing is scaling enemy creatures or anything like that. They're not like oh, it suddenly gets way tougher. Um, when you come back to a space, if it was relevant relatively easy, um, then it will still be so. More likely, though, is that you'll have been there, established camps, started influencing the area. You'll start right. seeing your banners flying and your men patrolling the roads rather right. than it just being like a static mm -hmm. locale. So conversely, I could like venture somewhere and face something like incredibly strong and like, I'm not ready for something to try anyway and get Speak my ass kicked. Speaking of something oh, incredibly yeah. strong, here's one. Oh, <laughs> that, is that a dragon we see? That was a completely non-time non oh, Well yes. done. Well done. <laughs> you just led Complete me right in there. Yeah. yeah, so we've reworked dragons from the ground up. It's in the name, so we thought it would be worthwhile. Yeah. Well. Um, the, big thing, the big thing is now, uh, rather than targeting just a dragon like a giant circle, you now right. actually target individual limbs. And they're so big, you can get into them, under them, fight through, uh, pin them down. And one thing you'll see in this fight is, uh, as it progresses, we're actually going to damage one of the limbs, and the dragon will start limping. Big and ball. as it lands, it'll fall over, meaning you can pin it down, really go to town with your Could I, like, you know, knock off like a wing, or like right. hurt the wing so it doesn't like kind of fly above me? That's really cool. That's right. Yeah, so, you can really um, target the individual parts to 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 your advantage. Yeah, and a big part of that is really the teamwork, right? So I mean, we're going for that same feel you get when you when you team up to take down a big creature in, in an online game, that kind of thing. But again. Um, the party has always been the heart of DA right. games. So uh, the mages have their own set of skills. In fact, we have 200 spells and talents oh. for you to pick from. So um, you can build basically any character in, into any role. In that's way more than previous Dragon Age games, oh, yeah. right? I mean, oh, yeah. Not yeah, there's more, a lot more yeah. upgrades, yeah. talent trees, you name it. And so, just to be clear, this is uh, still like you know, like a single player like adventure, right? Yep, that's absolutely. Right. So, Very cool. so you control all of these characters, and a little further on, we'll, we'll get into kind of the tactical view and showcase that. Right. But you'll notice here we're switching between different characters you control. That so that lets you, you know, say, okay, I'm going to move to my archer. I'm going to do this. You can do that all in real time, or as we'll show later, in pause. That's that's very cool. So, um, oh, there, that's oh, down yeah. on a leg. 
more drag how many dragons like how many different dragons are there? Can you tell me or is like the like are there like a wide variety or there, they, uh, there's different types, different breeds, they look different, they're all in different areas. They're all basically apex spreaders, so they're yeah. really, really tough encounters. They're basically designed for end game, but they drop incredible loot and crafting materials and with dragon stuff you can kinda of make the best stuff in the game. Oh that's so if I encounter a dragon, can I can I get away or am I just like stuck you like can. Is it, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't time you can disengage. Yeah, right, we really cool. want to make sure because because the game is an auto balancing to you, you right. want to make sure that if you're engaging into a combat that uh, that you aren't ready for, that you can get the hell out of there. Very cool. How about the save system? Can I like save whenever I want? Can I like see mm -hmm. a spa dragon, save it, go encounter like all right, well let's like let me I mean I might not even need to do that, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can save anywhere. Uh, it, you know, pretty true to the games we've had previously. Yeah, yeah chat's going wild, by the way. I'm just saying the same Oh, yeah, that's yeah. good. So, so here we're actually a little Hi, bit Chad. further on. We're actually in uh, Redcliffe Castle. Um, you can see the Fade Rift, which is is basically the thing that's threatening the world there up in the sky. Uh, the the world of demons kind of leaking into this part of the world. Yeah. And, and how does the Inquisition play play to that? Is Inquisition trying to like do like a power play, like take care of this and then like you know take over everything? Like, what's the can you tell me a little bit more about like the starting story? Yeah, well, the um, the, the Inquisition is actually founded kind of uh, in opposition to everyone's wishes. Right. There's a lot of groups that, that see this giant cataclysm happen, right. and their response is to go, well, we need to make a decision and form a committee to have a, you know, they don't do anything. And so um, when we sat down to build Inquisition, one of the, the things we talked about with the team um, is, what if instead of like joining the Rebels or joining the Jedi, what if you started it? Right? What if right. you were the beginning of that? So you were there from day one and you kind of grew your own kind of power and, and grew into the role of Inquisitor. Um, so the thing that makes you kind of special in the game is you have this, this mark on your hand. You don't know why it's there. That's one of the key mysteries. And with it, you can close these rifts that open up around the world. It's part of the reason people like look to you as a savior. Ah. Yeah. So, oh, hey, oh, conversation. Now, yes. um, I really I wanted to talk about this. We'll go for it. Uh, people have been looking Alexia. for this forever. Hey, can we Time finally see a female Canari in-game? This is the first appearance oh. basically ever. Yeah. Sexy. Um, and Jeez. she's got awesome horns and <laughs> tattoos and everything. Yeah. Uh, again, you can customize. There's four done? races, two genders. You, you actually have two different voices per gender want. now. Um, it's going to be your character. Back. Voice acting seems really nice so far. Yeah, we're Oh, this guy looks so sad. Yeah, well, that was, oh, that his, was, that that was, was his, his son. son. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. All right. That would make me a little sad, yeah. He's, he's a little pissed. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, that was Liliana. We are going to have some returning characters. Um, we've announced Morgan already. Mm -hmm. yep. um, Colin. Colin. Oh. Yeah. Who, is, who is very divisive. You love yes. him or you hate him. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm guessing there's some other cameos that maybe we're not speaking of now, like probably we're going to oh, Grey Warden. There's, there's a non-zero chance of that. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. So in this fight, you can see a little bit of the, of the tactics just while we had it on screen there. Um, with the with the pause and play, you're able to basically move the camera up. But the thing is, it isn't a fixed angle. You can bring it down, zoom around the action. You can look at how it's playing out. Yeah, and almost, you can get some amazing screenshots. Oh, amazing. So <laughs> you get it real time. And the nice part uh, is that at any moment you can resume time without changing the mode or losing your camera perspective. So it's the same thing as pause and unpause, but we haven't done this on the other platforms other than yeah. PC. So that's great. Now this, and I'm sure you guys put a lot of love and make sure it's easy on like you know the other platforms uh, on the consoles. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The controls are really uh, custom uh, for each of the platforms. So yeah, the the um, the PC feels a lot more mouse and keyboard. Yeah. It's a controller. Though PC players can use a controller you if they want to, awesome. which is something we can do. All right, awesome. Oh, so, hey, uh, hey, hey, fans, Iron Bull has a face. Everyone, uh -huh. everyone thought he was going to be our tally. You'd never see his face. He'd always, always be facing away from you. Now he's got a face. Yeah, like there creepy Watson or something. <laughs> and this, uh, this scene's kind of, this scene's kind of funnier. All right, fun, fun in a dark, dark way. Oh, that's that's my favorite kind of fun. <laughs> oh, and I just saw someone ask that. Uh, can we customize our followers' looks with armor? Yeah, you can. Uh, you can actually swap armor in and out for them. They'll, they'll change. Um, uh, Bull's actually wearing like a set of plate mail that isn't uh, from, from when he started in the demo. Yeah. So how wide is the variety of, let's say, like armor and weapons? Pretty big. You can craft yeah. them yourself. Oh, hot. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely a pretty vi wide variety. The, with weapons, you're basically, you can swap out the hilt, uh, the blade, um, sometimes an arm guard as well. So, October 7th. Let those who would destroy us step into the light. Tear it. 
itself apart. Chaos has left its mark upon me.